Now, resveratrol, who's heard of resveratrol? Quite a few of them, that's great. Well, it's one of the hottest ingredients in the world at the moment. At the uh, Food Expo uh, show, international show, it was, it's the top ingredient. There's been a lot of work done on resveratrol for all these reasons. It's a longevity ingredient, it's uh, sourced from red grape skins, um, and it has all these effects that have been shown also in the literature. There was a very, very cool video on YouTube you can look up which showed how uh, resveratrol with, with rats on treadmills. Um, they did all these trials and um, the ones that were on resveratrol just kept and kept going, kept going. And all the others fatigued and sort of fell by the wayside. So there's a lot of really interesting stuff on resveratrol. These are some of the benefits. One of the interesting ones is the French Paradox. Um, the French Paradox is, uh, is this, uh, I think scientists, and particularly medical scientists, couldn't understand why people around the Mediterranean who have a high fat diet, they smoke, they drink a lot of alcohol, they had all the risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Yet, in France, they, didn't, they had very low incidence. They couldn't figure out why. Well, they discovered it was all the antioxidants in, the, uh, in their diet, the Mediterranean diet. And one of the key things they discovered was that resveratrol was a major contributor to all of that. Now, colostrum and stem cells. There hasn't been a lot of research done on this yet. There's some, but certainly we know that uh, colostrum is a source of bioactives that affects stem cells. We know there's research being done on the particular components, particularly granulite, granulocyte colony stimulating factor is one that's actually used as a drug to release stem cells. So there's, there's actual real science there that there, are, um, that there are activities. Also, it makes sense with all the communication that's needed in the immune system, the cell to cell recognition, that the cytokines, the interleukins and the interferons and, and the PRPs that are in colostrum should have an effect there. So we started screening products, natural products, that might increase circulating stem cells. And we had volunteers that took various supplements and we analysed their blood. And this is, um, this is the machine that's done on, it's called a flow cytometer. This is me looking happy, I'm always happy in the lab. And uh, this is done at a, a, a research centre that's uh, a very well respected research centre doing clinical trials for uh, FDA approvals. Um, so there's some very good scientists behind us. I'm just there for the Photoshop actually to be <laughs> This is some of the results that you get out of it. There's a lot of data that comes out of a, a test and uh, you get these sort of printouts on the computer and uh, I don't know if you can read it, but you know, a little patch like this, this is, uh, uh, these are counts of individual cells. So that machine, the flow cytometer actually counts the cells and, and tags them, you, you tag them and, and identify them and then you can tell which are which. So it not only measures uh, stem cells, but it'll measure monocytes, B cells, T cells, all the various cells in the immune system. And these are some of the results we got. And, um, we had about 270 data sets when you add up all the various um, ingredients we tried and, and the people and the samples and the blood uh, types that were analysed. And the interesting thing is, of all of the various concoctions we put together and tried, the ones that had colostrum in them were colostrum based, um, gave a higher result than those without. So we're talking here about 22%. Um, increase in circulating stem cells. We, this was the average best time. We did different times as well and we're still working on this to be, to be fair there's a lot of work to do but this is a really good indicator for us that uh, something's happening. And uh, here's some more results. These are other cells. So you can see here the uh, monocytes up 10%, granulocytes up 15%, B cells up 20%, CD4 cells up nearly 5% and the stem cells um, just over 20%. So this was really exciting and, and, and we're continuing to work on this. So we put all this together and um, we've now come up with this product we're launching for you today called Colostem. This is our first generation product in this area. Um, it contains 
not only colostrum, 400 milligrams, but it's also got fucoidin, 40 milligrams, and resveratrol, 25 milligrams. So it's got the most nutritious ingredient from an animal, being colostrum, something from the sea, fucoidin, and something from plants. So um, it's quite fascinating, really, and it's, um, it's here for you today.